Well, it's been beginning to look a lot like Christmas, too. All things holiday this morning. This is at LMCU Ballpark in Comstock Park. And that is where we will find our Lauren Coomer. She's got the return of their holiday light show mm. this morning. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Tessa, Michelle. It is festive in here. We are joined by Bill. He is the owner of the Christmas Light Show. Bill, thank you so much for joining us this morning. How are you doing? Oh, it's a, it's a, this type of the year is the happiest time of the year. <laughs> you know, just a, a lot of a lot of happy people putting smiles on. Last year, well over a hundred thousand people here. So, and now tonight is going to be the first night you guys are opening. Tell us the work that went into putting this all together. Well, it all, it's, it all we, we, our team works on this all year round, but starting in, in labor right after Labor Day, we put all start putting all this together. And each year we have a huge change. It'll be a huge change this year. If you came last year, you're going to see one a different show. And each year we put better and uh, add more lights to it. And uh, it's, it, it's going to be a surprise when you get there this year. About how many strands of lights do you guys have out here, if you had to guess? Well, at the time, I get the question about how many lights we have. And, and right now, I, I used to try to keep track of it. But, for example, leading into the uh, ticket booth area, we got two miles of trail lights and tunnels. So, right along, I'm saying that uh, uh, we got pretty close to two million lights in our show here. It's a, almost a two-mile-long uh, show here with uh, with millions of lights. Now, um, like like uh, Tessa and Michelle were saying, we're at LMCU Ballpark here in Comstock Park. Tell us a little bit about what the process is if people are going to come and see some of these lights. Well, you're going to, as you drive in, you're going to be really surprised to see the, the change here. And then you're going to drive through a different different displays. Uh, this year we, we added, it was such a big hit last year, the elephant, the elephant head twins. That was a big hit. Now, all of a sudden, the dinosaur had twins <laughs> this year. So it's a lot of fun. And there is some holiday music that's going along with the lights as well. No, we don't. Uh, the the I, we just ask the people to ch tune into their favorite radio station, iHeartRadio, and they and turn in and listen to the music and uh, at their own speed and just stop and look at the lights. And um, you were saying you started about 24 years ago, and you're a veteran yourself. And where does some of the proceeds go? So it costs money to come and do this. Will you tell us yeah. a little bit about that? There, yeah. Each year we uh, have. Uh, with have a very special to the Grand Rapids Home for Veterans here in Greater Grand Rapids. And each year we write them a check for what some project they're going to have. And this year we're, uh, we're uh, going to be on Pearl Harbor Day. A certain amount of the proceeds are going to be going to the Veterans Home uh, to help the uh, our veterans that are residents there. All right. Thank you.